Hello and welcome to Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. My name's Jason Newland and please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. It's not really anything for you to do. I do suggest that you wear some loose clothing just so that you're more comfortable physically. So if you've just got back from skiing, maybe you take your coat off and your hat and your goggles and your skis before you lie down on your bed. Or maybe you can sit in a comfortable chair that supports your body. And all I'll do is just talk. And you may find that your mind starts to drift. You may find that even though you're focusing more and more on my voice, you start to notice yourself coming back to my voice, almost like you've been somewhere else. So drifting off is quite natural. In fact, drifting off is quite helpful, I guess, if you're listening in order to fall asleep. Because really, I would say 99% of falling asleep, 99% of the process is relaxing. Relaxing your body, relaxing your mind. Of course, you can't force the muscles in your body to relax, and you can't force your mind to relax. You can want your mind to relax. You can expect your body to relax. You can't force it. It seems to work the opposite way. I don't know if you've ever been in bed and maybe, you know, you're looking at the clock or looking at your phone and it's three o'clock in the morning and you've got to be up at seven and you're willing yourself to go to sleep. Why can't I go to sleep? I've got to go to sleep. I've got to go to sleep. And that tension surrounding how you're feeling is the opposite to what you need. Now if you laid in bed in the dark and try to stay awake using the same technique, you would fall asleep. For some reason, that's kind of how the the mind seems to work. The amount of times of when I was younger, I'd be out late at night and I'd go to work or have to sit in the classroom when I was at college, trying to keep my eyes open, listening, 
to the tutor or whoever it was. And the more I tried to keep my eyes open, the heavier my eyelids got. The more I tried to focus on the voice of the person speaking, the less my focus became. And I'd start to drift. And I would fall asleep continuously being woken up maybe by the people in the room, maybe by the teacher shouting out my name. But the more I tried to stay awake, the more I would drift. So that tension of trying to do something just doesn't work. Be intense about, you know, trying to force yourself to feel relaxed. That's like walking up to a tree and demanding that it tap dances for you. It's probably not going to happen. So you could use the reverse psychology of this by trying to stay awake. And I have done recordings like that in the past. You know, try and keep your eyes open. The more you try to keep your eyes open, the heavier your eyelids become. And they close, maybe blinking to start with. But each blink lasts for longer. Until you've got your eyes closed. And the longer you have your eyes closed, the heavier your eyelids feel like they're stuck together. And when I say stuck together, I mean... Each eye lid stuck to the bottom eyelid, not both eyelids stuck to each other. Because that would be weird. And there's something about even just listening to some random person like me rambling on about stuff which creates a sense of calmness within you and the muscles in your body start to relax your mind starts to slow down slow down and this is just natural this naturally happens without me even needing to suggest or mention such things occurring within you in order to relax deeply now This is part of the reason why I do so many different recordings. Some are very focused, you know, like imagine an image and imagine it turning around and then turn it around the opposite way or change the color, move the feeling from your leg or from your stomach out in front of you. And see it as a shape. Change the shape. And move that feeling into your left hand or into your right hand. And notice how it feels different to the way it was before. And there's so many 
probably infinite amounts of ways to approach this way of talking or receiving the message into your unconscious mind in order for you to benefit, in order for you to find that from now on you relax easier and falling asleep is, it really is simple. It really is so easy to let go completely. You've only got to watch a baby. How easily a baby falls asleep. I mean, a baby can fall asleep while they're, while they're eating. They can fall asleep while they're on the potty doing a toilet. I don't know about you, but I've never fallen asleep doing a poo as an adult. Not in my own home anyway. So, we are born, like literally, with that inherent ability. Nature, our nature is to be able to relax. Our human nature is the ability to pretty much switch off. To either think about something different or to just naturally slow everything down. Turning down the brightness, almost like a, maybe like a phone or a laptop or a television. You control the volume, you can turn the volume down. You can slow things down, like you can listen to the podcast, you can speed up the, the speed of the talking or you can slow it down. If you're li listening to a lecture, you might want to do the speed times by three if the lecturer is a particularly slow talker. You know, if, because some professors, they don't talk as quickly as me. Now, in your mind you do have that ability to slow everything down. Or just observe things slowing down. And when I said that, I really felt a relaxation across my shoulders and my neck, or the sides of my neck, my back, my chest. I could feel the air entering my body. It's very cool, refreshing. I've got my eyes closed as I normally do when I make these recordings. And when I, you know, ask people who are listening to imagine, you know, when they say focusing on your left knee. Then focus in on your right knee, your left elbow, and now your right elbow. Notice in the part of your body that feels the most relaxed. And sharing that with your left knee, your right knee your left elbow and your right elbow causing almost like a a 
a square of energy expanding and growing that feeling of comfort within you. Moving around your body. And when I say stuff like that, I'm actually doing it myself. I'm not sitting here eating a Kit Kat or a Mars bar or a yogurt, smoking a pipe with my slippers on and my trilby hat, dressed as Superman or whatever. You know, I'm not I'm not doing yoga. I'm literally I'm just sitting here with my eyes closed. Imagining the things that I'm saying. When I say just allow your right thigh to relax. I'm focusing on my own right thigh. I'm not writing down my shopping list for next week. I'm focusing on now. That's strange. I've just noticed as I focus on my right thigh, it started to relax. And that feeling is spreading up into my hips on the right side. And you can imagine in your mind that feeling spreading over to your left thigh, just jumping over like a frog or a very small kangaroo. You wouldn't want a life-size kangaroo jumping from your legs. Notice how your left thigh feels. same thing happened oh into my buttocks as well and also the relaxation is moving into my lower back which is a part that I really appreciate having a little bit of extra relaxation find it sometimes because I have some kind of arthritis in my lower back sometimes it when it relaxes when I choose to relax your lower back I think okay I just wait and I watch and I observe knowing it's going to happen knowing that you're going to feel relaxed is pretty cool really knowing that all you have to do is just wait and be patient and every time you choose to decide to relax a part of your body you don't have to wait too long because it happens quicker and quicker it may be that the neural pathways, new ones are being created in your brain, in your spine, the nervous system, so that things happen quicker, so that you can 
relax quicker. Yeah, it's a nice feeling. I'm noticing that my back, my upper back, the middle of my back, is also feeling more relaxed. Yeah, that's nice. You can move your attention to your face. I'm just focusing on my face and I'm noticing there's some tension in my forehead. So all I'm going to do is just focus on your forehead, just focus on how it feels and watch what happens. Just observe how it becomes smoother and more relaxed naturally. Just by focusing just by observing it's almost like the relaxation that is produced in your forehead starts to just drip down your face, relaxing the rest of your face, relaxing your eyes even more, your nose, your mouth, lips and tongue, gums and teeth, your chin, the whole of your jaw. Dripping down into your neck, the front of your neck, your throat, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck. Give in particular attention to the sides of your neck. A part of us that maybe we don't really, really think about too often. But as we all know, our neck is so important. deserves care and attention, relaxation. And as that feeling spreads down your arms, into your hands, and your fingers. Realize that the comfort and relaxation in your hands 
can also jump into your feet. That little miniature kangaroo can do its work again. From your hands to your feet, spread in that deep comfort, letting go, feeling calm, feeling loose, feeling calm. Feeling loose. So easily. Naturally. Releasing. Everything that needs to be released. Filling your body and mind with positivity and healing, relaxation. Healing, relaxation, 